right uh, now. This is a 27 uh, Raymore Drive, Palm Coast, Florida. It's a tile roof. Got a leak up here. And this is above the garage. You can see it's approximately 20 feet down from the ridge. And it's right in line with the garage door. And it's uh, it's up. Actually, it's leaking down at the bottom as well. There's a spot down at the bottom that they got some containers trying to catch the water. So this side here. Let me look around a little bit while I'm here. Let's see if we got anything else. Got a vent right there. It's below all of that. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I can see nails of the batten. See the nails of the batten right there, all the way across. Gonna have to have some wood changed out. Uh, let me jump up on top and take a look. Okay, when I get up here, this is a, uh, um, you know, the way the valley is here. The the waters is actually open right here, so all that water that's coming down that valley is dumping in that hole. I'll take this guy apart here, and then see, because that's right edge of the driveway you know you got some broken tile right there but I think the majority of the water is getting in right here and then it's going down and then just we got a bad spot in there so let me take a little bit open here and see yeah that's exactly what I thought um, the where the lead is open right there so all the water that comes down the valley they didn't they didn't they should have put another piece of lead farther down to get it on top and it's just over time it's been running in there running in there it's actually got the felt cracked right there and it's completely ate this felt up so what's happening is each one of these battens they can't take all that water the felt starts breaking down so we got to do is got to take the tile out all the way in this area here got to open this up go ahead and go down go ahead and go down you know six foot or whatever we need to do to make sure that we get all of the bad spots uh, also yeah somebody's already touched it up the lead underneath this right here some some rips in it or whatever but basically we need to take this guy apart you know all the way at the bottom change the bad wood if the wood's bad uh, and you know put new plywood uh, new uh, underlayment and then new battens and relay the tile and any of them that's broke you know you got a bunch of broken ones on down here in this area not saying throughout the whole house but in this area any of them that we broke uh, or is already broke when we do the repair we'll replace with the ones as close to existing as possible it's uh, yep it's the old, it's old Monair Villa Monair Villa tile and it's the uh, I don't remember what this color used to be called. It's like an orange with like a yellow flash. And it's got the double, it's got the double uh, nubs on it here instead of the single. Because I know sometimes when we pick them up, they have, uh, there's two different. Because they don't make this profile anymore, so you got to buy it from a boneyard. Uh, anyway, no big deal. Nothing we can't fix. Uh, it probably take a uh, crew. Uh, two-man crew take them the day to open it close it get the tile put it back together material wise we'll need uh, a roll of MLT a sheet of uh, half inch CDX tile adhesive maybe 15 pieces of tile probably six to eight foot of Waka flex um, a, a bundle of battens fasteners for battens and tile and um, that's probably about what we need.